Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's upload is a long range outlook and this is getting recorded as of the evening, late evening I should say, almost um, almost Tuesday, or almost Monday, but it's still Sunday. It will be released on Monday. It's a long range outlook. We will be talking about what's to, exp you know, what's to come, how the predictions have changed a little bit, and what the main deal is. So consider subscribing to this channel, consider liking this video, <clears throat> all you gotta do is hit the red subscribe button and <clears throat> you'll be subscribed to this channel. So I really uh, consider, you know, doing so, obviously it's my channel so I would, would consider, but you know, yeah, watch, check out this channel and decide for yourself. So right now we're looking at the Monday, September 9th, 2019 model run. Um, this is 6Z, or 0Z, sorry, model run and you can see that. Uh, we, we have some activity going on, quite a bit of activity actually across the southeast, the mid-Atlantic, um, the northwest, the midwest, we see a big storm, a low pressure coming in through the Dakotas and up into Canada. You can see that this uh, puts uh, a lot of precip out ahead of it and this actually you can see develops into a fairly nice system. It uh, produces, you know, not I wouldn't say severe weather, but definitely some thunderstorms, a complex of storms across in the Midwest, Minnesota, UP, the Great uh, by Lake Superior, and <clears throat> you can see that uh, it passes through. It me and also the one one thing I want to point out is in my last forecast video, or in my fa uh, last long range outlook, I remember how I said that. Um, <clears throat> that uh, the the you know September will be rather chilly with uh, many waves coming down like this. Well, now and that may have changed just a bit. Um, we'll we'll see. The Climate Prediction Center is calling for above average conditions <clears throat> um, for a good chunk of the country. Um, actually, according to their 8 to 14 year outlook, which was released yesterday or today, it's 100% of the country will be above average. And I think it will be, you know, there will be some moments where it's going to be above average for sure. I'm just, you know, not sure as to what great extent because look at this. Um, let me just play this. Actually, I'll just draw this out. But you saw that first storm come through. Basically, it's a low pressure. <clears throat> and if you know anything about the weather, you know that low pr pressure spin counterclockwise. So what they do is they drag up all the wind from the, all the moisture and, and obviously the moisture and the warm air from the Gulf of Mexico invades up to the north. <clears throat> and some of these pressures, low pressures are actually fairly strong. They're uh, equivalent to a fall to almost a winter like storms. They are pretty strong and powerful and it just sends the warm air in into this part of the country <clears throat> or as far north as this part of the country anywhere south of this is warm as well and the cold air which you could see the 540 line right there is locked up up here <clears throat> and it doesn't have really a chance to um, come down because as we look in the forward time frame look there's another storm and it does the same very same activity brings a warm ter uh, temperatures up <clears throat> brings a little bit of chilly air behind it I mean you could see that, uh, the lines are uh, at a negative slope which would indicate some uh, cooler air right there and yes, you can see it's marked right there. But overall, it's not going to last long because guess what happens right after this? Another system comes through. Now, this one's not, maybe not as powerful. Still does the same act. Sends a cold air to the north. Brings the, <clears throat> the warm air to the south. And a little bit of chilly air behind this. And I think this one might uh, bring in actually uh, a decent amount of chill as there's going to be a break in these storms. These constant storms coming from the southwest. <clears throat> and you can see that the 540 line gets... Fucking uh, pretty far south, uh, you can see into <clears throat> uh, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, into Maine right there, uh, bringing chilly temperatures across those and uh, those parts of the woods. If you were to look at a two-meter temperature anomaly, yeah, you can see pretty chilly. So that's what I mean. We'll have to, you know, wait and see whether uh, the Climate Prediction Center, you know, is not over-exaggerating or whether they're onto something. We'll see. But then as we move this into forward time, you can see uh, more, more, more warm air streaming up to the north and possibly a large tropical storm slash hurricane occurring again. Um, which is not unheard of. I mean, it's the peak of the hurricane season, so that's definitely, you know, plausible. So, let's get into this, into the old model one. This is the 18Z Sunday, September 8th. <clears throat> okay, and if we were to look at this, quickly glance at this, notice... <clears throat> same uh, same pattern, quite a, bit, quite a big uh, pattern of storms. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five. So five storms in the next uh, couple of days, uh, ten days, which is, <clears throat> which is usually uh, you could definitely considered an active pattern. And 
Uh, this one does have that uh, that colder period of uh, uh, temperatures as well. You can see brings in a chill um, after that. Well, after I think the fourth storm, and but then we start seeing more storms right there. You can see there's one in like the hurricane that they showed earlier, <clears throat> developing uh, possibly you know, uh, yeah, uh, you know interfering with the pattern as well but we'll just have to wait and see but one good sign is that the west seems like as if it will get more active towards the end of the forecasting period the northwest may got, start seeing some more rain some more showers the southwest rather staying dry for now um nothing too remarkable yet <clears throat> but um definitely uh we could start you know seeing some moisture for the northwest which would be good they, they have been pretty dry this year uh so or this year just past several patterns that have occurred <clears throat> so that is <clears throat> something to keep an eye on for the European model uh, also has a warm pattern and I mean you can see right there a ridging nice ridge that brings in warm temperatures so I mean the first eight days of September were uh, first eight nine days were very chilly below average but now we could start seeing you know some warmer temperatures we'll have to see what the ender the ending part of September brings um, it may be you know warm maybe extremely chilly we'll still have to see not all the models are agreeing on it but generally for the mid portion <clears throat> most of the ensembles are showing a ridge across the eastern U.S. or across most of the U.S., bringing in uh, warmer temperatures above average temperatures for a good portion of the country, while um, towards the end of the forecasting period, it gets a little bit more <coughs> uh, gets a little bit more um, into a troughing pattern. Uh, notice how <coughs> we get a uh, high pressure developing right here. <coughs> these are kind of glitches. Don't pay attention too much to these. Uh, these kind of just get placed in random places, but if whenever you see something like this, you know that there's gonna be a ridge pinning clockwise sending the winds It's kind of like a ring of fire pattern if you know what that is you know, um, It basically is when this high uh, pressure is spinning right here sending a lot of the storms up and over it And the if it's you know parked here for several days It could produce flooding across these areas as these storms just keep riding over the same locations and if we were to look at the two meter temperature uh, <coughs> anomalies for this okay. <clears throat> Uh, we would see, yeah, exactly, some cooler temperatures <clears throat> for the longer uh, range. This is extremely long range, so whether or not this occurs, we'll have to see. But at least <clears throat> a period of several days of uh, warmer temperatures is on its way. So don't be caught off guard that this, you know, you know this September will be very warm uh, overall. It, as of now, it's been very chilly for a good portion of the country. I'm not going to say all, but a good portion. And if we... You know, calculate in this next uh, heat pattern <clears throat> that's more uh, absorb or more <clears throat> open towards heat waves and uh, or warmer periods of time. Then we could definitely see some uh, averaging out. You know, the, it's not going to be as cold as chilly, but again, we have to see what the and the, uh, the late part of uh, September brings. Let's go to the eight to fourteen day outlook. I want to show you this. I haven't seen this such a <clears throat> such a extreme outlook in a long time and you can see that it shows <clears throat> I mean look at that above average precip for a hundred percent of the or above average temperatures you know that's what they're calling for for a hundred percent of the country not a single area that is you <clears throat> neutral or below average which I think is a little bit ridiculous but <clears throat> we'll have to see about that um, precipitation probability you can see it keeps it above average especially with the storms notice how it's above for the northwest so that's a good thing uh, if we look at the 6 to 10 day outlook it shows very similar things uh, maybe a little bit cooler for the northwest and we are seeing some signs of that but they're pretty confident in the above average temperatures and above average precip for the west and the midwest so, um, you know, this is uh, still something that is in progress. I mean, if you were to look at their 30-day outlook for the Climate Prediction Center, <clears throat> they, uh, they, uh, they don't, they, they also showed a cooler pattern, you know, for September. So, I mean, they're basically kind of like self-destroying themselves, kind of like a catch-22 moment you know, to a certain extent, if you will. Uh, they are uh, showing, you know, above average temperatures right here on their own graphics, but in their own uh, in their own forecast for uh, September, they're showing below average conditions for this part of the country. Which I'm telling you, if you were to look at that anomaly graph for the first 10 days of September, first eight or nine as of now, um, you would uh, you would see this this general pattern uh, b below average temperatures for the midwest and northeast and, and above for the west but because of this heat you know this is not for the whole month this is not for the whole month of september i want to you know emphasize this is only from 16th through the 22nd but that could definitely still uh, you know leave an outstanding impact on this we'll see exactly to how this like to what extent this 
uh, occurs, but at this point we're getting more more confident. And notice how they also have a above average precip for the southeast. Uh, that is that is because of the tropical activity that is occurring right now. And as you saw in the models, we could be looking at some more. So um, hopefully you enjoyed, guys. Hopefully you learned something new. Consider liking this video. Consider subscribing to this channel. And I could also show you, uh, I wanted to show you quickly the uh, the humidity and the, and the PWAT moisture. Let's go to relative humidity. This is at higher levels, but you could see that um, with these big storms and this, and this, uh, and this heat, or I should say heat. Well, yeah, it's still September. So he is definitely going on, but uh, you can see that the, I don't know if this will load, should probably just end the video, but you can see that there's definitely some above average uh, PWATs, which indicate, again, those storms passing through, which uh, is going to be interesting to see. So thank you guys so much for watching. Consider liking the video. Consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys in the next episode. See ya.